welcome we will start with very basic questions and then go in detail first question what is packaging in pharmaceutical industry answer is pharmaceutical packaging aims to protect medicines from harm such as contamination and deterioration it provides essential information about the medicine including dosage instructions expiry date and storage conditions additionally packaging is designed to be visually attractive to consumers making it easier for them to select and trust the product what is difference between primary packaging and secondary packaging here are the three points of difference between primary packaging and secondary packaging the major difference is about direct contact in case of primary packaging these materials comes into direct contact with the pharmaceutical product whereas in case of secondary packaging it provides additional protection during storage transportation and dispensing the purpose of primary packaging is to protect the medicine from external factors whereas in case of secondary packaging purpose is to enhance the overall safety and integrity of the product how does a desiccant work in pharmaceutical packaging desiccants are used to absorb moisture within packaging to prevent degradation of the pharmaceutical product especially in formulations sensitive to moisture what are the different types of packaging materials used in the pharmaceutical industry you can refer below table for packaging material and their description commonly used packaging materials are glass plastic aluminum foil paper and cardboard polymer films rubber closures metal cans pet pp and pvc what in process checks are important during packaging process in pharmaceutical industry Here is the list of in process checks along with their description important in process checks are visual inspection weight verification fill volume verification seal integrity labeling accuracy code printing tamper evident features child resistant packaging barcode scanning and documentation review what are the important components of pharmaceutical packaging important components includes primary packaging material which includes blister packs bottles vials ampules and prefilled syringes in case of secondary packaging material it includes cardboard boxes cartons shrink wraps and foil pouches other important components are labels and inserts closures and seals desiccants and moisture controls safety features and packaging inserts and information leaflets what are the important contents of label as per who annex 9 below are the important contents of label it includes drug product name list of active ingredients including their amounts statement of net contents batch number assigned by the manufacturer expiry date in uncoded form special storage conditions or handling precautions direction for use warnings and precautions and manufacturer's name and address What is role of packaging development department in pharmaceutical packaging The role of packaging development department is to innovate and design packaging solutions provide collaboration with regulatory affairs to ensure packaging meets regulatory requirements Additionally the role of packaging development is cost optimization they identify cost effective materials optimize packaging designs for efficient manufacturing and transportation and implement sustainable practices to minimize environmental impact while maintaining quality one simple basic but important question whether packing and packaging term can be used alternatively the direct answer is no there is a difference between these two terms in pharmaceutical industry packaging is like planning and preparing the containers labels and documents for the medicine while packing is physically putting the medicine into those containers and getting them ready for distribution what is role of track and trace system in pharmaceutical packaging track and trace system verify product authenticity ensure regulatory compliance provide supply chain visibility facilitate rapid recall management prevent product diversion and enhance patient safety how market complaints can be avoided by proper packaging process market complaints can be avoided by keeping products safe inside checking products quality well giving easy to understand instructions avoiding damage during delivery adding features to show if the package was opened and following the rules set by regulators what is blister packing and what are the commonly observed defects in blister packaging 
Blister packaging is a type of packaging that consists of a formed plastic cavity or blister containing the product sealed with a backing material such as aluminum foil or plastic film. Commonly observed defects in blister packaging include incomplete seals or leaks, product protrusions or misalignment within the cavity. One basic and important question what is primary purpose of packaging of pharmaceutical products? Answer is primary purpose of packaging of pharmaceutical products is to ensure safety and integrity, provide protection against contamination and damage, facilitate accurate dosing and administration, enable regulatory compliance and product identification, enhance patient convenience and adherence to medication regimens. What is palletization process in pharmaceutical packaging? Palletization in pharmaceutical packaging involves arranging and stacking packaged products onto pallet for efficient storage and transportation. It includes preparing products, selecting pallets, arranging and stacking products, securing the load, data logger placement, labeling and ensuring quality control. What are the different containers for pharmaceuticals? As per WHO Annex 9, following are the different containers for pharmaceuticals. It includes ampoules, bag, blister, bottle, cartridge, gas cylinder, injection needle, injection syringe, pressurized container, single dose container, strip, tube and vial. What is purpose of leaflet in pharmaceutical packaging? The basic purpose of leaflet in pharmaceutical packaging is to provide essential information, ensure safety and efficacy and enhance patient education. What is use of shipper and what are the different types of shippers used in pharmaceutical industry? The shipper is used in pharmaceutical logistics to transport products safely. Different types include cold chain shippers, insulated shippers, dry ice shippers, passive shippers and active shippers. What are the basic properties or requirements of packaging material? Basic properties or requirements of packaging material are compatibility with the product, protection against physical, chemical and biological hazards, suitability for storage and transportation conditions, compliance with regulatory standards, temper resistance and security features, ease of handling and use, cost effectiveness and sustainability. How does serialization benefit pharmaceutical packaging? Serialization involves assigning a unique identifier to each saleable unit, enabling traceability throughout the supply chain. It stops fake medicines and makes sure the medicine is real. What are the different types of cartons used in the pharmaceutical industry and commonly observed defects in cartons? Different types of cartons that are used in pharmaceutical industry are folding cartons, corrugated cartons, chipboard cartons and temper evident cartons. The commonly observed defects in cartons are poor folding, inadequate strength, printing defects, insufficient temper evident features and incorrect labeling. What are the advantages and disadvantages of using plastic as packing material in the pharmaceutical industry? Here are the some advantages and disadvantages of plastic as a packing material. Advantages includes lightweight and versatility, excellent barrier properties and customizable designs and shapes. Whereas disadvantages include environmental concerns due to non-biodegradability, potential for leaching chemicals into the product and static electricity buildup. What is temper resistant packaging? Temper resistant packaging is designed to determine unauthorized access to pharmaceutical products by incorporating features that make it evident if the package has been tempered with or opened. What are the recent advancements in the pharmaceutical packaging? Below are the 5 important recent advancements in the pharmaceutical packaging. First is smart packaging. Here we use the sensors or indicators to monitor the factors. Second is sustainable materials usage. Third, personalized packaging. Fourth, nanotechnology. And fifth, important 3D printing. Last and very important question which guidelines are important for packaging in the pharmaceutical industry. The important guidelines includes GMP guidelines, ICH guidelines, USP, PHUR that is European Pharmacopoeia, Food and Drug Administration that is FDA's regulations and WHO that is World Health Organization's guidelines. 
डोंट फॉरगेट टू लाइक कमेंट एंड शेयर सब्सक्राइब टू चैनल फॉर मोर वीडियोज रिलेटेड टू आवर फार्मास्यूटिकल इंडस्ट्री